take a look at this problem. We want to find the domain of each rational function. So we got 7x plus 5 over x squared plus 3. Now um, our first step is we want to set our denominator equal to 0 and solve it. So we got x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. Notice we're missing our middle term. There's no x. Um, if you don't have the middle term, then the square root property is probably your easiest way. So I'm going to take the 3 over the right side and it becomes a negative 3. The square root property. That says if you got something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Well, a negative inside of a square root gives us an i, so this is i square root of 3. And whenever you come up with the i's, those aren't ever part of your domain. So you can cross that out. And since I crossed uh, everything out, then our domain is actually negative infinity to positive infinity.